Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Right, just a real quick video today to show you how I'm using the Schema plugin in conjunction with Magic Page plugin to create Schema across all of the pages on my evergreen style website. So these are websites that I download and upload to a new server and don't have to make any changes and the schema it dynamically changes throughout the whole site. So step number one, <clears throat> first thing I do is I go over to my VPS and I use SEO Schema Factory, which is Patrick Turtles, uh, Patrick Tuttle, sorry, is his um, it's his tool over in Ranking Factory. If you give him a message, he'll, he'll show you how to do it. So what I'll do is I'll show you very quickly. I've, I've already pulled the, the, the URLs out, but what you do is you click on it, you click search, and obviously you get a load of, of, of options here. It pulls in loads of different keywords. You pre-select your keywords, you click OK. I'm not gonna run it because it'll take a while um, and it'll pull in a load of URLs. So I've, I, I think I did about three um, or four keywords and I get this list of, of URLs. Then what I do is I take that list of URLs. This is for the homepage of my website and I come back over to the site. You click on the homepage. Now we'll already have schema on here, but I'm gonna show you exactly how we import the schema. So first thing I do is click edit page. Now, when we look at the schema builder, you're gonna see what schemas I've actually currently got on the page. So if I click on here, and let's minimize these. So you can see, if you look at this, I've currently got So we've got breadcrumbs list, which let me just show you quickly what we've done with the breadcrumbs list. So what I do with the breadcrumbs list is a list item, item position number one. Then what I do is I've got the at ID, the URL. So if you put URL short code forward slash auto hyphen locksmith 3.5 and then car door lock replace location. Item number two, auto locksmith two. This is the URL that will put in the URL with the forward slash auto locksmith two car key duplication location. So what this will do, if you look at it, I've got every single, this links out to all of the service pages on the website, okay? So the breadcrumbs list. But if I was importing these now, just one sec. So if I click on the import, I'm not gonna import them, but what I would do is I literally go in there and paste the list, oh, that's not what we want. One second, guys. Copy. All right paste in the list of URLs like that. And oh, you can see one of mine there, that's one of my own. Let me click scrape. And what this will do is pull in all of the different schemas from all of them URLs that I've just pulled in with Patrick's tool. So as you can see, and it's saying keep yours and other such things. So it pulls in all the different types of schema instantly. Wherever we've got duplicates like locksmith and organization, what you do is you click the combine button. So I can, I would combine the website schemas, I would combine the local business schemas, uh, and another website schema there, I'd combine them all together and what it'll do is it'll get rid of any duplicates and just keep all the essentials, okay? I wonder if I can just close this now, sure I can. Right, so say if, if this was locksmith and this was locksmith, I'd click the combine, combine, and I combine them both there, okay? And then the way I, I create the schema, now, this is a homepage schema. I'm going to go through the rest of the site. I've shown you the breadcrumb list. Now, if I go back to the homepage, what you'll see, that breadcrumb list actually links out to all of these pages. So these are all my service pages. Okay. So each one of those is listed inside the breadcrumb list. And if you wanted to add a new one in there, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to do. So if I wanted to add a new go down to the bottom one again. A new one of these breadcrumbs here, a little list item. So say we had another service page 10. I can very quickly click the duplicate button and watch what happens underneath. There we go. So we change that to item number 10. URL forward slash and put the end of the URL on here. And that, I'm not going to do that because I don't need an additional one. So I'm just going to delete that. I've got item number 987. So we've got all that set. But as you can see, what I'm doing throughout the whole schema, and I'm going to show you from the top down, Location, county, region, zip, country. So I've got the full address in there of the page, schema organization. So here you can see name, blog info name, blog info name, blog info URL, URL, okay. Founding date, I've spun the founding dates, 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Contact point, customer service. Phone number is gonna be the Xfields number. So then I put an Xfields phone number in. If you understand what Magic Page plugin is, that will work across all of your pages, not just on, on the Magic Page. At ID, I've used the URL, so we just use the URL shortcode. 
Same here, URL shortcode. With my descriptions, I've, as you can see, I've got cheapest, best, number one, locksmith with the S or not the S, in or not in, and then location, so that will spin. Location auto locksmith, so that's the name of the business, so I keep that the same throughout. Uh, required name search, as you can see, we're using the URL shortcodes, URL shortcodes, and as we keep going down throughout the whole thing, we use all the URL shortcodes in every single area that is possible. Payment accepted, cash, check, credit card, invoice, schema is the locksmith schema. Cheapest business number one, as you can see. Now that'll be the same on each page. And we use the location short codes, the X fields, phone numbers. So basically, whatever site I move this across to, I'll cr it will automatically change based on the information being provided from the website, okay? See here, you've got your Google Maps, places, location, at, latitude, comma, longitude. That'll pull in a local map, X fields, phone number. So none of the information inside of the schema needs changing on the Evergreen Style website. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to one of the service pages because not only do we have it on the magic page, which I will show you shortly, in addition to that, we also will have schema on each of the service pages. So each one of those service pages will have its own schema. So these are my service pages, okay? So what I'll do is I'll click on card door lock replaced. In fact, before we do that, let me just go back to the home page. Sorry about this. Um, and then just let me show you what the schema looks like. taking its time but as you can see we've got an unspecified type we've got a web page we've got a locksmith we've got an organization we've got a local business we've got a video object we've got breadcrumb list breadcrumb list is the interesting one which i'll open in a second we've got professional service website creative work okay and then if you click on the breadcrumb list what you'll see is them i was showing you a minute ago it's actually pulling in because of the url item list item number one locksmiths or locksmith which is car door lock replacement man replace manchester and that, that one's car key duplication manchester that's because we're using the location short code at the end it will always pull in the central location of the website car key repaired manchester car key replacement manchester uh, ignition barrel replace manchester and as you can see each of these is the urls to our service pages then what we do inside the service pages so what we're doing here let's go to one of the service pages now and it's very quick and easy to do this across multiple pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one and then I'll show you exactly how I duplicate the process across all of my service pages. Cause it's pretty, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Right, so what we do is we click on the schema and oh, maximize that. So as you can see, I've put in at type local business, okay? Location auto locksmith, which we use throughout because that's the name of the business. Image is the URL. So I just put the URL in there and you won't get an, an error code, but it doesn't have a .jpg at the end. I don't bother. Uh, putting crazy number of images. Location is the location short code. Price range is just pounds. X fields phone number again. Schema service door lock replaced location. Okay. Then you've got city location. Um, offering door lock replacement. Offer catalog car door lock replaced. Right. So I'll go through and I'll do all this. Then what I'll do is I'll go over to the preview button here. Okay. And you see this this code. What I will do is I'll highlight this code. Okay, so as you can see, it's done so it'll dynamically change across all the sites and the keywords will fit with the keyword of the page. Okay, now we go back to an additional, in fact, I can, sh let's say we're doing a service page schema. You'll notice that it's the same for all of the services. So car key duplication. What I will do is I go into edit here on that specific page we click on this, we click import, okay, minimize that a sec, click on the import bit, click on the JSON code, paste that what we've just got from the previous page in, so it pulls in all the same information, process, and as you can see, we've got two different service schemes because they're almost identical. So what I'll do is I'll pull in the schema, the schema from the other page, and then I go through and I change only the relevant information. So car key duplication on this page, because this was car key duplication, location. Car key duplicated, yeah, spare car key. Yeah, sometimes I have the location tab on the end, sometimes I don't, car key duplication, location. So as you can see, and then what I'll do is a preview, copy it, go over to the other service page, and only change the essentials. So all your service pages have got very, very similar. This will be car key programming. So the, the schema is almost identical. 
across all of the pages. So as you're going to see on this one, again, look, so look, car key programming, yeah? Keys programmed for cars, car key programming, uh, car key programmed. This is locksmithinmanchester.com. So if you want to steal the schema off here, you know, you can just go onto my pages and, and copy the URL and pull them in. But so this is how I will do the, um, the schema for the service pages. Then the only page we've got left, okay, will be the magic page. And to keep things super simple with the magic page, yeah, let's click on one of them there. Because Magic Page has its own schema builder incorporated. It's not quite as good as the WP Schema plugin tool, which we use, but it does have a few separate options. Now, because the main area is taken up with the home page of the website, I'm not as overly bothered about the schema on here. So what I tend to do, rather than going in and using the advanced schema builder, I use the simple schema builder. Okay, then I open the schema builder and I select whatever industry it is I'm working for. As you can see, we've got absolutely loads. Car or locksmith's location, site URL. So you get your site underscore URL. Now you get that site underscore URL from your short codes up here, see? Because you get your magic page short codes up here that you can use throughout your schema. Now a lot of this will automatically be filled in for you. You'll notice if you put the simple schema builder on your magic page, it's nearly all incorporated straight away. Location, region, zip, country ISO, phone we've got in there that should actually be the x field number i've actually made a mistake on that one so we would have x field underscore number okay and you got your email i usually leave that blank site url again is from your um, seo image url so whatever image you input here if you use your seo image url from there it will automatically pull it into your simple schema builder. So I'll use the SEO image URL, price range, 50 to 250 pounds per hour. Uh, again, same situation here, google.com forward slash maps, place, location, latitude, longitude. Okay, time range, very, very simple drop down menu. And then I had a, a few Wikipedia links in there. So what this will be is that Wikidata one will be a Wikidata link for locksmiths, okay? Then what you do is Wikipedia link for the location, as you'll see. So that's a Wikipedia link. Oh, bad title. Oh, it's pulled in. Oh, because it's pulled in the location. Okay, when you view it, it won't say location. That would say whatever page we're currently on. So that would say say Salford. So if I, just let me show you what I mean. If I view that, when it's actually on the live page, it will look more like that, so it'll pull in the Salford page. And the same here, that's gonna be the Wikipedia for locksmithing. So if we go off and view the page, and then what you can see is down here where I've got my X field number, I have the phone number that I want them to ring. So that will populate throughout the whole site and throughout all of the schemas. So as we move to site, to site, to site, to site, if you're selling sites to customers, or you're creating evergreen sites for customers, and you use the X field number throughout the whole website, absolutely everywhere. Let me just give you an example. Okay, so if I click on here, see where we've got the phone number there, edit with Elementor, what you'll see is, and, and you do this with emails, and you do this with anything that's gonna change. As you can see, I've got X field number, but if you click on it, and you look where the, the link is, it says tell colon, T-E-L colon, X field number. So what'll happen, on the actual page is it will pull in the X fields number. So then whenever you incorporate and set it up on a new site, say you're doing a different area and you want a different phone number, once you've imported the website, all you need to do is go and change your central location in, well, install the new databases, obviously, for the new location. Then you click on edit your magic page. You change your central location over here to whatever your central location is going to be. And then if you've got a different phone number for that location, you come down here and you change your X fields phone number and you're done. So you've only got to change two things on the website here. Well, you install the database, okay? Install the database inside the settings. Then you change your central location. So if I was building a Liverpool site off this one, I would go up here and I would change that to Liverpool from Manchester. Then I would scroll down the page and I would say, okay, let's say I've got an 0151 number for Liverpool. 
I would put the 0151 number in there. I'd click update and the whole site becomes a Liverpool site with the dynamic schema changing for all of your different services, for your homepage, for your about page, for, for all, everything that you do throughout the whole site will change dynamically. So will the phone number on every single page and every single link where the phone number gets clicked. Okay, guys, so that's how I'm using the schema builder inside of the evergreen style websites. Now, obviously, um, I can't go into much more detail on this YouTube video, but what we are having is a webinar tomorrow night, and I hope to see all you guys on there live because we're going to build. It won't be as good as this one, but, but it will be. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step process of building an evergreen style website. Okay, right the way through using the short codes in all the right places and everything. And then I've got a couple of guys that are doing six figures a year using MPP, uh, six figures plus a year using MPP. And they're going to show you some of the advanced techniques that they use in their businesses. Okay, guys, looking forward to seeing you all on the webinar tomorrow. Hope this video helped. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.